what's up guys how are you all doing it's friday which means we're on another episode of uni problems and as you can see from down there today it is food who doesn't love food but food is the kind of most important thing to keep you going key fact did you know that scientists think a human body can go three weeks without food but only three days without water I've gone three days without food before and my body was starting to turn inside out because your body's not used to it but if you have to survive it will be able to last because you've got all this fat on your body and all your muscles and stuff anyway as a student I don't eat very well you can tell I eat just not what I should when I should and what I should if that made any sense so as I am filming this, it is half past four in the afternoon and I have missed breakfast, missed lunch and I won't be going out for getting food until after I've watched a YouTube video. That's bad. Don't do it. Um, and my notice I said going out for food, that's because I don't use my kitchen. If you remember back to my flatmate anger video, if you've been following me since the beginning, if not, you can click up the link up here. It's up here, nice little box. And um, you can go watch that and you can see the state of my kitchen, what it was and why I didn't want to use my kitchen. And I do admit it has got better, but my flatmates still aren't the sort of nicest. So I haven't used my kitchen, apart from to make a hot chocolate at three o'clock in the morning. So I go and buy food which is bad, I'm wasting money on food. Not good. But I was talking to one of my student friends. I know, a friend, right? Crazy. And they were saying about running out of food, which is quite a big problem because students don't want to spend money on food. They'd rather spend it on alcohol. Not me, obviously, but some other students. And a student's diet mainly consists of pasta, toast or cereal. So I've gathered from talking to people. A lot of people are like, oh, what are you having for tea? I'm going to have pasta. What are you having for tea? I'm going to have some toast. I go out and buy food and I always have the same thing. And it's not good because all I'm doing is eating junk, which is no good for my health. And I always think about why I'm getting ill and stuff. But anyway, food. One of the big things about either going to uni or leaving home or, you know, just growing up in general is learning how to cook. Now, I'm the odd one out in my family. I can't cook for anything. My um, Edwina, the one you've met, she can do like cakes. And then Robin, who you haven't met, but you will in the future. Um, can do like proper meals. I can do like toast and I made some really good brownies once but that's it. Yeah. I've been given like loads of cookbooks and I've not used a single one of them. But I guess the problem is because I'm in student accommodation and my oven is rubbish, when I move into my new house in the summer I'll have a working oven. Fingers crossed. So I'll be able to improve on my cooking. But the whole moral of this video is eat properly, make sure you have enough food and sort of don't miss meals because as they keep saying, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So don't miss breakfast because that will set you up for the day, particularly if, if you have a nine o'clock lecture. The amount of times I went to my nine o'clock lecture without have had breakfast. But I'd eat afterwards, so my lecture would finish at 10 and then I'd get breakfast afterwards. So in some ways it was good. But don't go to a lecture without having food. Make sure you're hydrated. That's always good. And you can treat yourself now and then, but make sure you eat properly. I guess. I, I probably sound like a, a food tech teacher or a home ec teacher saying what to do when you're eating. But I don't follow any of my rules myself. So I'm a bit of a hypocrite. But I'm trying to improve on my eating. So we'll get through it together. So that's all I have for this week's uni problems. 
it kind of I didn't know what else to do but you can click up here to see my last vlog click in the middle to see my last song and click down in the bottom to see the last year problems then you can click in this corner over here to subscribe for free cake because who doesn't like cake and if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up lend me your thumbs and if you have any ideas on what for me to eat and try and if you go through the same thing of not eating or not knowing what to eat then let me know in the comments below and I will read them all so I don't feel so bad about myself. So I'll see you all next week.